Hey guys, to learn how to get these cute Sailor Moon rubber band ponies, keep watching. First, brush your hair and part it into two sections. I brushed mine into two high buns, and then I laid the scarf on it to make it nice and sleek for about 10-15 minutes, or if you have more minutes, then that's fine. Remove the scarf and use your choice of any braiding hair. Keep the rubber band on, do not remove the rubber band that comes on it. This helps to make it easier. And then I literally just place the rubber band around my bun and twist it once. And then I just hold it right there as I take the hair and I twist it around my bun so that it can be on top over my bun. I'll pull it over the bun so that it covers. Just make sure it covers all of your natural hair nice and tight and then literally pull the rubber band over and release it to where your natural bun stops. That creates the the first puff or the top bun. Then you want to get your rubber bands ready. I suggest uh, strong rubber bands and not like dollar store rubber bands because they'll tend to pop easily and you'll find yourself replacing those more often. So before you start putting the rubber bands on you want to take a piece out of the bundle of hair. This step is not necessary, but I just feel like it makes it more secure on my head. Just twist that piece around the base of the bun, the base of the hair, and you just continue to wrap around until it's all the way wrapped around. And then you can begin to place the rubber bands along. It's up to you how big or how small you want the puffs between each rubber band. And you can adjust them later, which you'll see me do. You literally just keep placing the rubber bands along one by one, sectioning them off into the sections that you want, how big you want them, how small you want them. And I like to put on them to kind of give that extra puff sometimes, um, but it's not necessary. You can just leave it how it is. Once you get towards the bottom, you can leave as much hair as you want out. I don't like that much hair at the bottom, so I make sure I put a rubber band as low as I can. And I double twist it to secure it at the end so it doesn't slip off since it's less dense at the bottom. Here, I'm just making sure that all of my natural hair is covered just in case the textures look different you just don't want any of your natural hair to be peeking out of the bun because it won't look as sleek Here I'm just adjusting the rubber band so that it will look similar to the other side as far as the amount and the sizes so that might be necessary.